Hi guys, welcome back. Today is June 16th. It is Sunday and it is the night before I go in for my final, final, final round of chemo and immunotherapy. Hopefully for the rest of my damn life. Um, fingers crossed. And I know that I've been telling you guys that I would try to vlog what it's like for me for the week and what I do and what happens and everything but I always forget or I just don't feel well enough so I'm really going to try hard to get this week's as much of what happens this week in as I can um I'm going to tell my mom and dad to get whatever videos they can on their phones or whatever on my phone um because I'm not usually awake for most of the week so it's not super interesting, but sometimes some things happen that are kind of interesting, but, um, yeah, so, it's currently, like, almost midnight. I have to get up at, like, five, um, I'm actually debating on just not going to bed because I can just sleep tomorrow, all day, pretty much. Um, so I just packed my suitcase for the week which just basically has a lot of sports bras, shorts, and loose baggy t-shirts. Um, usually I just wear sports bras and shorts because I get extremely hot when I am in there, so I just like to wear the least amount of clothing possible. I also have a lot of cords and stuff hooked up to me at all times, so the least amount of things that are on me, um, the better. It just helps. It's a lot less, like, infuriating. Infuriating, infur I don't know what I'm trying to say, never mind. So, yeah, so I will see you guys in the morning. This is us on the way to Tortons to get a tea and a bagel. This is the waiting room that I wait in to get my port accessed. This is the little hallway that goes from the waiting room to there's an IV room and then there's a like a another IV room, but one is for ports and catheter type things and one is for actual needles. This is my port being accessed, and this is the photo to show you what exactly is going on. Next, we are walking to Tim's to get a drink, and then we will be heading upstairs to the 8th floor to go to my room and unpack and get settled. This is my room. It's not very big. They are very tiny rooms, and you just have to make do with what you got. Me and my mom decided to head up to the ninth floor which is especially for oncology patients and this room is sponsored by samsung and you can go out on the roof and watch the helicopters land it's really nice so now i head upstairs to start my treatment for the week and i just want to forewarn everybody that the following videos and clips are probably going to be taken by a very, very, very medicated Alexa.
which means they might not be the best quality, and they also might not be the best flattering angle at all. They are actually horrendous. So please don't point that out. I get it. I just wanted to show you guys what it's really like for me there, which, by the way, if I had to use one word to describe it, is hell. Alright, enjoy, bye. So this clip is my mom hooking up my heart monitors um, to my chest, and obviously, um, and this is literally like the worst video that I have ever seen, but just bear with me. As you can see, my tube is hooked up to my <laughs> chest there. Um, I have an IV in, and that's my mom um, hooking up my car monitor. Here, I'm just kind of showing you, like, I don't even know, my foot, my toe monitor. Enjoy that. It's great. Um, my IV. And my mom hooking my IV pole back up so that it doesn't uh, die and start beeping. This is my mom taking the video of me. Um, very stoned in this video. I'm a, yeah, very, very medicated. <laughs> For some reason, I have a video of me brushing my teeth. So, enjoy that. Here's my IV pole beeping because it's angry and they always do that and you eventually learn to drown out the beeping um so yeah enjoy this video of me brushing my teeth this is just a little picture of all the tubes that i'm holding this is on wednesday this is just more heart monitor hooking up stuff um so the next few clips that you see, my dad will be in it because he comes down Thursday nights and he does the rest of the week and then he takes me home. My mom brings me there and he takes me home. I had a really weird craving for ice cream, so I made my dad walk the dark Toronto streets to get me ice cream. And just like a wonderful dad, that's exactly what he did. Dad. And this is me, very medicated and enjoying my ice cream very thoroughly, so. I apparently lost the clips of me going home, but it's really nothing interesting. It is just me, um, usually really out of it, really nauseous, not having the greatest time. And I honestly don't even remember coming home because I slept the entire way home. Um, but yeah, it, the week is not super interesting, and there was not a lot of stuff to videotape or make the video about, so I apologize for that, because this is kind of super boring, or maybe it's not, I don't know, it's super boring to me, because I've been doing it for the past seven years, but yeah, it's a lot of me just laying around, being nauseous, being out of it, having weird cravings, like, being emotional, like, if you make a joke, I'll probably start crying for no reason, so, yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys somewhat enjoyed this video. I hope it was enjoyable-ish. Um, I will probably, I will try my best to get back on the video making grind. I have a video idea in mind currently, so, yeah. Alright, bye guys. <laughs>